Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Corral and Internet Roundup. That's what I've renamed our studio. Uh, okay. The Corral. I mean, it says Studio 1A right there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We need a new sign. We do. Uh, that is Josh. I'm Chuck. We do the Stuff You Know podcast, and we round up the internet once a week with exciting things from the internet. That's right. Thrilling, like raining worms. Yeah, depending on where you are in the world, apparently it can rain worms. Like in Norway, uh, recently this biology teacher named um, Karsten Erstad, this is a great Norwegian sure. name. fantastic. Uh, was out on a, a ski trip and basically came upon thousands of worms on the surface of the snow. Yeah. And thought, well, somebody dumped some dead worms here, picked them up, and they started squirming. Sure. Was very surprised to find that these worms are alive on top of the snow. Doesn't make any kind of sense. No, he thought, of course, his second thought after someone dumped dead worms here was, I guess they crawled up through the snow, but apparently the snow was like, what, a meter deep, which yeah. I think is like 80 feet, right? <laughs> I think it's more like three. Okay. <laughs> but close. Um, I'm just a dumb American. <laughs> what do I know? And so he, he, he was like, this, this probably can't happen. They probably can't climb through 80 feet of snow. Right. Or even three. Or even three feet. Right. So he, he went back and he thought about this, and he's like, how would these worms have gotten there? Uh-huh. He said, well, it probably rained worms. Yeah. And he went and looked in the record, and um, there were there were reports dating back to the 1920s in Sweden. A worm rainfall. So apparently this happens there. Yeah. Uh, and once, once he reported there, once the report of... His finding got out. Other people started being like, oh, yeah, I saw those, too. Got to ski over there. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so um, what's going on there? Well, I mean, we did a podcast on uh, Can It Rain Frogs? Right. And um, I, it's not exactly raining in the traditional sense. There are clearly not worms in the clouds falling from the sky. Mm -hmm. But um, what, did, what, was the, what did we come up with for the frogs? Wasn't it? Um, Water spots, I think. Yeah, water spouts maybe shooting them up in the air. Yeah, remember that's the episode where you created the idea for Sharknado. Oh, that's like right. Like a full year or so before Sharknado came out. Right. So it's highly likely that you actually did come <laughs> up with the idea for Sharknado. Right, so Wormnado. I'm yeah. going ahead and calling that one right now. Nice going, man. So do you think these are water spouts, though? That'd be kind of unusual, right? I don't know what this reason? is. I have no idea. I was asking you. Oh, uh, yeah. That's my answer. Right. <laughs> I think that's good enough for Internet I, Roundup. Yeah, I'm happy to <laughs> I'm happy to leave it under the banner of unexplained phenomena. Yes. You know? Yeah. And just be delighted with it. I'm delighted. Raining worms. Can you imagine being in the middle of a rain worm storm? A worm rainstorm. Rain worm storm. <laughs> worm storm. That's another one. Yeah. It's a band name. Coming to uh sci fi channel soon. What's up next, Chuck? All right. I saw, um, well, the headline kind of grabbed me, which was Alaska mayor or Anchorage mayor wants to send alcoholics to Seattle. And my first <laughs> no, thought. Not, not just for fun. <laughs> yeah. My first thought was he was just rounding up the worst of the worst in his town. That's what I thought, too. And then just dumping them off in Seattle. But apparently what's going on is there is a, there's a program in Seattle, very, I don't know, I guess controversial program. To cure yeah. alcoholics using uh, using things like shock treatment. Aversion therapy. And the pills that you take that make you vomit when you smell or drink alcohol. Like Epicac. Is that what they use? Yeah, basically what they do is they induce either vomiting or they shock you. They basically make alcohol really undesirable to you on a, yeah. on a visceral level. Yeah. So you're sitting there drinking your scotch. But they're they're making you take a shot of Ipecac right after that, and then you take another shot or another drink of scotch, and you go, Bleh, and they make <laughs> you do that over and over again until your brain associates alcohol with violent, disgusting vomiting. Yeah, I mean it makes sense in a way. Uh, the name of the hospital is Schick Shadel Hospital, <laughs> and they claim to be the first, uh, I think, the first treatment center in the United States, if I'm not mistaken. That's dedicated specifically to substance abuse. It was founded okay. in 1935. Yeah. It's been around for a while. The only problem is uh, there's not a lot of independent evidence right. or data that shows that this is effective. Yeah, like they say they have a 70% cure rate, right? but they, they haven't gotten people to come in and really validate that. Right, but it's still apparently 
good enough for like the mayor of Anchorage who read about it in an Alaska Airlines magazine profile. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> that's where he got the idea. <laughs> yeah, he was on a plane. He's like, 70%, that's great. Yeah, and, he, and he's he's got eight drunks that he's going to send over there mm-hmm. to start with, which I thought was interesting. And then maybe when they move back to town, have a non-drinking area of town that he makes them live in. Well, a halfway house. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. There's a halfway house called um, Carlock Manor. All right. I um, thought it, he was going to just designate like a section of town or something as dry. I don't think so. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Um, so the the idea behind this, it makes intuitive sense, right? Aversive therapy. Yeah. But um, apparently it's dangerous if you're a severe alcoholic because you can develop a physical dependency on alcohol. Mm-hmm. And if Schick Shadell's um, process really does cure you in 10 days, th- that that you can die from that. Like Amy yeah. Winehouse died from going cold turkey on alcohol. She didn't oh, do really? it right. Yeah. That's what killed her. Yes. I don't think I knew that. Um, and it's a real problem. Like there's a specific way you have to Step down. wean off of alcohol yeah. or else it can kill you. Interesting. So doing this with severe alcoholics, especially ones who aren't ready to quit, can be right problematic if not fatal. Wow. But supposedly the ones that the eight that are lined up for this pilot program to go down to Seattle are ready to quit and um, are going to try it. Well, maybe they can step it down before they, you know, take those, uh, the Ipecac. I would hope that if Schick Shadell Hospital's been around since 1935, they've got the secret sauce figured out. Yeah. And uh, how to not kill their patients. Right. You know? <laughs> uh, you got anything else? Nope. All right. So, aversion therapy in Seattle. Good luck with that. And um, keep Anchorage clean, everybody. We'll see you next week. <laughs> That's the new slogan. <laughs>